Before we start, I would like to thank Sonic Retro and the Bootleg Games Wiki for all the information I got for this video. Sonic is very, very popular with all age groups, but one of the series' biggest demographic is kids. But it's also a very character-focused series with a lot of great and, um, well, marketable designs. Combine that with its target demographic and you get... Fuck. This kind of franchise is a gold mine for bootleggers. It's insane all of the garbage they make for the series, and all over the world too. You can find just about anything like plushies, toys, figures, clothes, and even video games. Yes, bootleg games used to actually be sold in stores as cartridges before the glorious age of the internet, where these types of games just now exist as shitty ad-infested mobile games. But these cartridges were everywhere, and with Sonic's massive popularity in the 90s, he was a popular target for these bootleggers. They would just slap Sonic or any other popular game back then on the cover and hope your parents thought it was the real deal. A lot of these games seem to be very quickly put together with very little care for quality and copyright infringement and human rights and the law. Or a lot of the times they'll just get super lazy and swap an already existing game sprites with Sonic, like our first subject today. Super Mario and Sonic 2. This is a hack of Chippendale Rescue Rangers 2 for the Famicom, and oh my god, it's one of the laziest games I've ever played. The only original thing they actually made for this game is the Sonic sprite, and oh my god, it's hideous. Look at this character lineup. You got Mario and Sonic, Chip and Dale, I think? He's just green. Mario and Luigi? And Sonic and Red Sonic. Great. This gameplay is, uh, okay. I mean, it was a game made by actual developers before it was stolen by these bootleggers who just lazily threw Mario and Sonic in it. I got bored while playing and just started to see how fast I can beat it before I got to the first boss and gave up. Well, I guess it's time to move on to... Super 2 Sonic. They just spelled it with a K again. I don't know why I really like Tails in this menu. He's badly drawn, but it's still so cute. Let's choose Knuckles. Well, they ripped these sprites from Sonic Advance, and what is with this ladder animation? They all look like this. The movement feels weird and clunky, and the music just fucking loops the whole time. It's so annoying. It is really slow for what is supposed to be a Sonic game, and it took me forever to figure out I can hold B to go a bit faster, but it feels really weird. Now, it is just a boring game, but what's really interesting is its history. This is actually just a hack of another bootleg called Pokemon Platinum. Not that one, made by Syntax. They made this hack of their own game a couple other times with an Incredibles version. They have a history of just making these lazy palette swaps of other games and their own game. Back to the game, Sonic and Tails play the same. It is weird you have to find like these Mario 64 warp points to go to the next level. The music changed here and it creeped me out. Also, what is with this continue screen? What is that? It just goes to the sprite of Dr. Eggman from Sonic Advance after whatever the hell that was. Well, there's not much else to say. Let's move on to... Oh. My. God. We are in the real shit now. What the fuck is this main menu? It is like nearly impossible to even tell what this is at first glance. Everything is so compressed and I love it. Okay, Green Hill Zone, let's go. This music is horrible. I think it's from Sonic 3, but oh my god, this feels terrible. It's so slow and weird. And I'm dead. Okay, let's try again. The only way to beat the badniks is to jump on them like Mario. Spin dashing doesn't work, hitting them from the side with a jump doesn't work either. I'm dead again. This music is so compressed, Jesus. The springs come out of the power-up boxes for some reason. I ran out of Elias and gave up, so I think it's time to move on. Sonic 6, but where was Sonic 5? And 4, I don't think we got that either. This familiar cutscene reminds me of Sonic 3D Blast 5. I thought it was just going to be that again, but nope, it's just another reskin. This time of a speedy Gonzalez game. 
I love these compressed 3D Sonic images. So this game made me start questioning if I was even good at games like at all. It plays fine and it seems like it should be easy but I just keep dying over and over again to what seems like little simple obstacles. You die in one hit for some fucking awful reason. It does feel a little stiff but not to the point to where it feels awful. Why does this happen? Why is this a platform in the game? Anyways, I gave up yet again after dying a lot. Do I suck at games? No, these games are just garbage. So this is another game made by Syntax, not a hack of Pokemon Platinum, but it shares a similar engine to other bootleg games they made. The Spin Dash comes out of your hand? Also I think it might be impossible to get past the first level, I can't even go back in the level. It might be possible to progress using this platform here, but I tried for a while and I do not want to keep playing. Anyways, it's ugly, the frame rate is weird, let's move on. Oh my god, this is a breath of fresh air after those awful games. Holy shit. This is the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 prototype. I'm not going to go into the differences between this and the final version of Sonic 2 here. There are a lot of other videos doing that. You, yes you, Timothy, I see you watching this. You must be wondering, why is this here? It's not a bootleg game, it's made by Sega. Well, according to Yuji Naka, a copy of this prototype was stolen from New York Toy Fair in 1992 and was then pirated and sold before the game even officially came out. It somehow spread to multiple countries too. It was everywhere. It must have sucked to have gotten this and think it was the actual Sonic 2, but you can't even complete it because only 4 zones are available and it's not done. Well, we should move on now. I want to show like, real bootleg games here, so now it's time to look at... God damn it, this is just another reskin. I am tired of these. This is just a Speedy Gonzalez game on the SNES, and oh my god, it's so fast. It's like almost impossibly fast. You barely have time to react to what's ahead of you sometimes. It's a fine game, it gets kind of boring though. I like how you're saving Mario's. I think you have to save all the Mario's in the level to continue. Funny how a lot of these bootlegs actually have momentum. Something even Sonic Frontier supposedly doesn't have. Don't crucify me for this, I'm actually excited for Sonic Frontiers, it looks like it's gonna be fun. Nothing else to really say about this, fine game, not as fun as Block. Okay, yes, this is another reskin of a game, and it's not specifically a Sonic bootleg, but look at this cast of characters, I had to check this out. Okay, hear me out, Bowser here is kinda- So this is a fighting game, and of course we're gonna choose Sonic here. Oh, it automatically put me up against Mario. Awesome. We will finally see who would win- I lost. Okay, let's try- I lost again. My god, I just keep dying in all of these games. Okay, let's continue, let's try a different character. Makes me watch this fucking awesome opening again, and I choose Goku. Puts me up against Mario again, and I get my ass fucking kicked again. Mario keeps doing the fucking Hadouken, and I can't. Look at this fucker taunting me. I try again, and it almost seems like I can do it. I don't know how I did this move here, and then he just kills me. Again. Well, that's World Heroes 2. I hope to see this game at EVO next year. Oh my god, my jaw literally dropped when I saw this intro. It is fucking amazing. Oh my god, this isn't- oh my god, this isn't Sonic Adventure 7. This is literally just Sonic 3D Blast 5 again. This is made by the same people. I- I don't know how they made a game worse than Sonic 3D Blast 5 though, but they did it. It is literally impossible to get over these spikes without using the bad nick here. This is truly a beautiful piece of shit. I never ever want to see this game again. Wow. 
Well, I was saving the best for last. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this final, beautiful game. There was no way I could just leave this out. Well, I present you with... Oh my god. The perfect game. Yes, it's almost unplayable. Yes, it's hard as fuck. Yes, there's some jank to it, but I love it. It's so weirdly charming. The fucking balls these developers must have to just take these two major IPs and throw them into this beautiful mess of a game. This game developed a bit of a following after people started discovering it online. People even made hacks of this game to make it more playable, but come on. I had to play it like this, it's just too good. It took me way too long to get past this first section, the fucking bad Nick kept sniping me from off screen I kept dying over and over and over again. Oh no, this is out. Oh no, help, I can't, help, I can't get out, I can't, I can't get out, Why? I keep picking the ring up. I died. What is with these janky ass loops? This is just funny. Help. Huh, even this game has momentum. Isn't that great? Oh no, it happened again, no. Well, that's all I have for today. I might look even deeper and make a more detailed sequel, and I'm definitely going to look into bootlegs of other game series. I know I shit on these for the last 11 minutes. Great seeing these beloved characters in these shitty ass bootlegs. Yes, we still have these as mobile games nowadays, but those just aren't the same. These actually released on a cartridge in real stores. It's fascinating. Well, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Well, end card time. Again, thank you so, so much for watching. I actually had a lot of fun playing these shitty games. I love garbage like this. Did you guys have any bootleg games like this? I would love to hear about them in the comments. Well, yet again, thank you for watching. It really does mean a lot. Bye.